In Solidity, there's a built-in function called ecRecover. You pass in the signature and the message hash that was signed, and it will recover the signer of the signature. Normally, to test this ecRecover function in your Solidity contract, you have to sign the signature offline and then feed that signature into your Solidity contract. However, in Foundry, you can test this by writing Solidity code. The way you would sign a signature in your Foundry test is by first setting up a private key, and then by calling vm.addr, you'll get a public key corresponding to the private key. Next, to sign a message, let's say the message is secret message, you hash the message, and then next you will call vm.sign, passing in the private key and the message hash. This will output the signature that we need to pass into EC Recover. Let me show you an example. So the first step, we need to get a private key. So I'll say, let's say uint256, we'll say private key is equal to one, two, three. And the next step is to get the public key by calling bm.addr. Public key will be address, I'll name it pub key. This will be equal to bm.addr addr and then pass in the private key private key okay so that completes the first step of setting up the private key for this test we said that the private key is equal to one two three and then from the private key we computed the public key which is possible by calling bm.addr okay for the next step let's get the message hash of secret message so I'll copy this paste it here and then we'll say bytes 32 and I'll name this message hash is equal to let's say the message is secret message and then we'll sign it with the private key bm.sign the private key will be private key of 123 and the message hash that we're signing is message hash which is the kitchak 256 hash of the message secret message and this function will return the signature which is split into three parts the signature parameters are B, R, and S. B is of type uint8, R is of type bytes32, and S is of type bytes32. These three parameters are all part of the signature, and we're going to need all of these parameters to recover the signer. So the next step is we'll try to verify the signer from the signature, which is B, R, and S. And we'll recover the signer by calling the built-in function EC recover, pass in the message hash, the message that was signed, and the signature parameters b, r, and s. So by calling this function, it will recover the signer. So say address signer is equal to ec recover message hash, b, r, s. And once we recover the signer, let's verify that the signer is equal to the public key. So I'll say assert equal signer should be equal to the public key that was used to sign. Okay, let's run the test. Open the terminal and then run forge test dash dash match path test stash. The test file I named it sign.t.sol and then execute the test. And our test passes. So this means that by calling bm sign, we were able to sign the signature and then verify the signature with the built in function inside Solidity called EC Recover. The signer here and the public key corresponding to the signature are the same. So let's test this signature against the message that was actually not signed. So what I mean here, I'll take this message hash, and then we're not gonna sign this. I'll also rename this to invalid message hash. We also change the message to invalid message. And then we're gonna call EC recover with this message hash that was not signed with the signature of message hash. So copy this, paste it here, and then call EC recover with invalid message hash. Pass in the signature for message hash. So now the signer should not be equal to the public key. Say assert true. Signer should not be equal to the public key, pub key. Okay, let's run the test again. Open the terminal, execute the test, and the test is successful. In this video, I showed you how to sign a message in your Foundry test by calling bm sign. Remember we took that signature and then actually called the EC recover function to get the signer and then verify that the signer that was recovered from EC recover matches the actual signer. 
In the case that the signature BRS did not match the message, then we got a different signer from the actual signer that was recovered from the signature.